cable that just this connects to the iPad, I open Twisted Wave, and I'm able to record as simple as that. However, like I mentioned before, it's all about the environment in which you record. And I have a little makeshift booth at my mom and dad's house. We took a little closet. My parents are awesome. And they let me, my husband actually like put a bunch of insulation and he, you know, he, he built me this little tiny, you know, whatever, a little cubby that I get to record in. And um, so whenever I'm home, it really works well for me um, to be able to do my work. And normally when I'm visiting for like two weeks or a week, I'll bring my Neumann and I'll bring my MacBook Pro and I'll bring more gear. But for a, for a long weekend, my iPad and my Apogee are great. Yeah, when I was on a cruise with my mom. This is my mom, by the way, guys. Um, <laughs> she's just, she's hanging out. Um, I actually had some jobs come in for Pandora when we were on a cruise. And I said, Mom, I've never recorded on a cruise ship. I don't know what I'm going to do. So the headboard was upholstered and really soft. So I sat Indian style facing the headboard. And I had my mom throw like comforters over the top of me. And I'm in there like snapping my fingers, seeing if like, you know, it's echoey or if it's kind of dead sounding. And then I did, I think, about a half a dozen Pandora spots. They never knew. I never told them. So don't get me in trouble, you guys. So um, it worked just fine, and I submitted it. And uh, but but my mom was you know helping me hold the you know comforters up, and it was it was great. But if you guys want to check out this mic, I'll pass it around. Um, it's pretty heavy for the little um, for USB mic. I personally am not a fan of USB mics, by the way. I I don't I think they sound real tinny. I really like this one though because I've actually done jobs. I did a job, a national TV spot for um, Jay Z's fragrance called Gold Jay Z, at my brother's house in his closet in Austin on that mic and this iPad. I never told them that I was actually I have that on my website if you want to play it for them. Um, I um, I was like yeah, I'm available for this spot. Do you want to do a directed session? And they're like, no, 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 just record a few takes and send it in. And I said to my brother, I'm like, I need the part of your closet that has the most clothes in it, you know? And I went in there and I started to record. And um, this is my website. Um, it's just my name, melissamotes.com. I wrote it up there for you guys too. Um, but underneath my um, clients page, uh, I think it's up there. Yeah, Gold Jay Z. If you click on Gold Jay Z, it'll take us to. Oh, why did that happen? It's just a link. Oh, the link's dead. I can pull it up from. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So, is it a prerequisite to have a studio when you're doing voice? It really is. In today's market, in today's time, you have to have some means to record from home, and you don't have to spend a ton of money. It's a 15-second spot. I don't know. Um, I don't know why they took it down. That must be really recent because I just played it like a week ago. But anyway, um, my gold Jay Z spot was done on this. But I'll show you guys really quick uh, one thing, and I'll play. We'll play some demos and stuff, and I'll show you guys. But like this is the spot I did. So here's my little. Here's what my waveform looks like. It's real easy to maneuver on the iPad. I um, oftentimes, what I like about it is just can blow up your waveform. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not always easy to edit on for like long projects. A lot of students that I mentor say, well, can I just get an Apogee and an iPad and that be my home studio? And I say, I don't recommend it because it's not always easy to do all your editing and stuff on, you know? It, having a mouse and a regular desktop computer or laptop, way better. But like, uh, the, it, so, it sounds great. We start with a hand-seared patty fresh off the grill, then artfully handcrafted into the perfect burger with all the ingredients you crave. New Create Your Taste at McDonald's. Yes, McDonald's. So, anyway. <laughs> Thanks. But, <laughs> but, so that's just on my Apogee and my iPad, and I, and I love it. And also, for iPhone, 
people, you can also download Twisted Wave into your iPhone and you can plug your Apogee right into that. So technology is getting more and more user friendly and uh, question? Just really quick with the Apogee, does it work with Android 2 if you've got a USB to micro? Possibly. I'm not, I don't know for sure. Okay. I, I've only worked with it with Apple products, but that might be something you can Google or try and, you know, Perfect. check it out. But um, I really like it as a, as a USB mic, and it's, it's very – the only thing I don't like about the Apogee is it's very sensitive to plosives. And if I have to, you know, pickled pack a pack, pick, pick a pack of pickled <laughs> peppers, if I have to say a lot of stuff with peas, I mean, I can see in my waveform so much stuff happening. It drives me crazy. So I have to kind of really work with the mic placement with the Apogee. Um, so that kind of a thing to think about. But um, would you guys like to hear a demo or two? Um, OK. So one thing I'll touch on regarding demos before we play them, if you want to go to the demos page. Um, thank you, sir. Um, I really recommend if you want to do commercial work you should produce a commercial demo if you want to do phone hold work you should produce a phone hold demo if you want to do video game work you should have a video game demo put together I think it's great to have specific demos put together for the type of work you're going after now some people I know put together kind of a montage demo or a variety demo of many different genres and and it can work but it's it's confusing when you mix character work in with like commercial work. I think it's too busy, and I think that the listener has a hard time really kind of getting to know you. And I have found what I book the most is just me being myself. Um, I'm a happy person, if you guys haven't noticed. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely an optimist, and I'm, I, it's not hard for me to smile and read a piece of copy and to infuse optimism into a piece. Um, so most of the time I'm booked just to be myself and I use my regular voice. But I can do character work and I can switch it up and you should embrace your versatility. You should embrace what you've got and you should do as much as you can do. But I would definitely recommend, in my opinion, categorizing your demo into the types. So on my website I have many. I have my commercial reel and honestly, the most versatile demo I think you can put together is your commercial reel. It's kind of like the main demo reel that people put together. Um, I do promo work. Um, I do political work. I do radio imaging. I do narration work, instructional corporate narration. I do automotive work. I do a lot of auto spots on Pandora. You know, I'm selling a lot of cars. Um, I was with Ashley Furniture for the first part of last year. You know, it's the Ashley Furniture Home Store President's Day Savings <laughs> Event. It's like, I was so excited. So I sold a lot of furniture. And it's, my whole life is like one big giant commercial, I swear. But anyway, it's super fun. But see how I have many that, that apply to different genres. So that's what I would recommend, and I don't know, whatever one you want to play for these guys. Mm, one of these or one of these? Okay. I would do, if you want to hit commercial, commercial demo, okay. yeah. Okay, imagine you had to... Wow. Whew. So that's a little bit of me. It's aggressive. It's aggressive. <laughs> I want everybody to hire me. Turn it up. Sorry. It's okay. Let's turn it down a little bit. No problem. Same thing for the next five to ten years. You want something that would look good season after season, right? Now put yourself in your walls position. The paint you choose matters. Hey, sweetie, guess what? Your mommy is finally going to college. And thanks to my scholarship, we've got a path to a better life. Sure to dare. The new fragrance by Madonna. Supplies. A brand new backpack. All new clothes. It's back to school time, and Fred Meyer has everything you need in just one stop. Life before the razor. Life after the razor. Now, get prepared for life with the droid razor. How far would you go for love, for peace, for understanding? How far would you go? What are you waiting for? Call 1 800 Jenny 20 to get started today. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my commercial reel and uh, thank you and uh, 
Thank you. I use that to get a lot of my commercial work. And that's your demo is your calling card. I mean, your demo has to be good. And your demo should represent variety. It should show versatility of your range. I'm sure you guys noticed I had some upbeat, chirpy, smiley stuff. I had some, you know, you know, how far would you go? You know, just like real soft and, you know, just so many different things going on in there just to show my versatility. Um, so that's what I would recommend. And on length for a demo, Honestly, people don't want to hear stuff that's more than about a minute. Um, I call it a hot minute. So make your minute hot, make it pop, show your best stuff, you know, your best stuff. And clips on your demo should range anywhere from 8 seconds to 13 seconds. I wouldn't go any longer than that because people people's attention spans right now are pretty short. You know, it's like squirrel, you know, everything is, you know, it's just like, it's fast. Where you, If you don't get me in, in three seconds, you know, people get so distracted. So honestly, make sure your, your cuts are, you know, they're short. You guys know what I'm talking about. I mean, I can't even handle it. I do commercials for a living. And when a commercial break comes on, I'm like, I'm jumping on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. Like I have to constantly be stimulated. I'm sure you guys feel that way too. That's the day and age we live in. So your demos, make them pop, make them move, and make the cuts really um, be very different from one another. When you line up I was very strategic when I built this demo to make one be, you know, what have you got to lose, you know, Jenny Craig, and then like, you know, that was what I ended on, but then putting something really soft and heartfelt to kind of really contrast. You want them to really feel hard changes so that it keeps them interested enough to go, what else can this guy do, or what else can this girl do, that kind of thing. Um, so, and then, I don't know if you want to, we don't have to play the whole thing, but if you want to maybe play... 15 seconds of maybe the promo demo. That'll give you a flavor. The search for the next big designer is on. It's the chance of a lifetime. Only one can win. And that designer is? Project Runway All-Stars. Tomorrow at 9 on Lifetime. Stay in your current home or move on to something new. That's the problem <laughs> the experts need to solve. The boss who won't work with this stuff works here. Watch David and Hillary on an all-new Love It or List It. Monday at 9. So you guys get the idea for promo, and then I go into a darker one, you know, driven to manipulate. You know, it's like some ID discovery show. So um, just showing range. And then radio imaging. Still a lot of radio imaging opportunities out there. Um, maybe the um, top 40. Yep. Only number one hit music station. Music station. 2. 7. 2. 7. So... It goes on and on. It's like really mega produced out. But um, but that shows, again, range, different styles. Because believe it or not, people in the creative industry of, of voiceover, a lot of these creatives aren't that creative. Like they got to hear you on it to know. You can, you know, do an audition or play them, their, play them your reel. And they really want to hear you on their words and on their script to really go, oh, okay, that person would be good for my for my piece. Thank you.